I think I've been here 12 years. Um, I have, this will be my 40th year in education. Uh, so Ms. Fafford has been an outstanding principal at our school. Um, she's been the principal of the White and Elementary School for quite a few years, and before that she was the principal of the Taft School. Um, she's been a great leader. Well, she's important to me first of all because um, she's kind. And she's not only kind to me, but she's kind to everybody. She has always, always provided wonderful assistance and suggestions on how to improve what I do on a daily basis. Um, as far as fundraisers, she's always been one to, you know, have the pie thrown in her face on behalf of, you know, the kids in the community. I think she's just always been there for all of us. She's, you know, she has everyone's best interests at heart. She has her teacher's interests at heart. She always um, advocates for the kids. She's just, you know, she's always thinking of someone and how to make it better for whether it's the staff, the students, you know, she's just, she's, she's always giving of herself. Ms. Favard's very important to me on many levels as far as a friend, a colleague, and a boss, a great boss. She's a role model for all of us. She helps us with anything that we need help for. She remembers what it's like to be in the classroom, and that's always been so good for all of us here at White. And so Ms. Fafford is so important because she is more than just a boss to me. She is um, a bit of mentor um, and a friend and sometimes even acted like my mom. This past year for the fundraiser, if the kids raised enough money for the fundraiser, then she was getting duct taped to the wall. And they sure enough raised that money and she got duct taped to the wall. Well, she's just so fun. I mean, if there is a joke to be said, Miss Fafford is the one telling it, that is for sure. I would have to say passionate. Passion, without a doubt. Patriotic. She and I have a connection between um, patriotism and it's, it's always been dear to me and to her and I think that's a connection we have. Um, so I would describe Miss Fafford as a very dedicated professional. She's understanding. And when I say understanding, I don't mean just understands on a personal level, but she sees people as a mix of different qualities and, and you know, she understands that we're not, we're not just people that come to work every day. We're human beings. Lori, I just want to say I'm going to miss you and I want to thank you for your sense of humor, your honesty and being forthright, and also for being a mentor and someone that I can really trust. To Ms. Fafford, there's a, there's a saying from the Talmud, which is a, a Jewish book of rabbinical teachings that states, there's, there's no higher wisdom than kindness. Well, if there's one thing our years together has taught me and, and uh, certainly everybody who's come in contact with you is that right down to the windows of White and School and your voicemail message that we should always choose to be kind, always. And so if that's the case, you're quite possibly one of the, the wisest people any of us will ever know. Uh, and if there is no higher wisdom than kindness, consider yourself one of the more influential educators that Uxbridge has ever known. So with that, we will miss your sense of humor, your kindness, and your wit. And we wish you all of the best uh, in this next stage of your life. And have a really great retirement and good health and good spirit. Thanks for everything, Lori. Miss Fafford means nature walks and spirit days, magic shows and extra recess. She puts aside her pride for her students. I mean, she must love us because she got taped to the wall, pied in the face, silly stringed, kissed a pig, all willingly for her students. Miss Fafford has got to be the best principal to set foot in white in. One experience I had in the office was it was just a big misunderstanding and she waited to hear me out. And I like that she did that before just deciding you're expelled or you have detention. So I really like how she does that, and I just think she's a very great principal. Um, for me, I think that she's um, one of the best principals I've ever had in my schools. Um, number one being for me the um, peanut tables that she that she has, like the peanut friendly tables, because um, I have my allergies, so I have to sit there. So it's a uh, it's really um, it's really good knowing that I have like a safe spot that she made to create just for people 
and my friends that have the nut allergies to sit there. And um, some of the times when I've had um, stuff going on, like personally and stuff, she's um, helped me get a lot through, through a lot of it and um, she's just helped me get back on track. So she's a really good principal. Ms. Pafford's really amazing because she has a great personality. She is really funny. She's kind and she's just a lot of things. Um, Ms. Fafford is a great principal. She loves all the students and she's just so much fun. Uh, she just has everyone on track and she's trying to make us like the greatest students. Um, and personally, she's helped me with a lot of different things in school and out of school. She's helped me with a lot of my charitable um, stuff that I've done and she's just super nice and she's like the greatest principal we could ever have. No one could ever replace her. Every day she inspires me to help the environment. Every day she gives everybody a good laugh. She's always in high spirits. Everything in her mind is positive and, and it's just great. She's I don't think there's ever been a principal like her before. Never. Yeah, she's probably the best principal any of us have ever had. Yeah, especially since she kissed a pig. <laughs> she's the best principal ever because she always thinks about her students before her. So if she would rather help somebody than help her in the first place, maybe. <laughs> when I moved to Whiten, I didn't. I was kind of nervous about the new principal because I've known the Taft principal longer. But um, when I was sad and something bad was going on, she made sure I was feeling okay. And then fourth grade, same thing happened. And this year it hasn't happened because she's been making sure that everything, nothing bad has happened. And she's making my writing dreams come true. Bye. Bye, Miss Fafford. We'll miss you. Yep. <laughs> I'm Ms. Fafford, um, it, was nice, it was nice knowing you, and uh, thank you for all the stuff that you've done for us. Bye. Bye. Bye, Ms. Fafford, we love you. Thanks for all you do, we'll miss you. Goodbye, Ms. Fafford, I'm gonna miss you. Ms. Fafford, you have some really big shoes to fill. Um, you've helped me grow, you've helped your students grow, and we all love you, and we hope that you have the best retirement ever. And I better be invited to Wareham so that we can go co-hogging and you can show me how it's done. <laughs> Love you, Miss Fafford. I'm gonna miss you and looking forward to keep in touch for many years to come. I am so happy for you to be able to retire now and enjoy life and have a great time. I'm looking forward to being your South Coast neighbor and making many more memories to come. Good luck, Lori. Have a wonderful retirement. We will so miss you when you are gone. You have been, I think, instrumental in getting us through some of the really dark times that we have had in terms of school culture and all the, all the craziness that this profession can bring. Ms. Fafford, Laurie, Rachel Carson would be so proud of you for everything you're doing for future generations. You've changed a lot of hearts here. You've made positive connections everywhere. We love you. You've put in your years, you've put in time, and it's your time. So I enjoy retirement and do everything that you love to do. And we will miss you very much. Come back and visit. Um, as often as you want and I know we're always looking for subs so you know if you have some free time and you'd like to come in our classroom next year and sub uh, you know where to find us. I'd just like to say that I've so enjoyed being an administrator here. Um, I needed to be a prophet in a different land and I came here and did that. I promised I would stay till my retirement. I promised Dan Stefanello. God bless him, rest in peace when he hired me 12 years ago, and I fulfilled that promise. And I'd just like to say to the town of Uxbridge and definitely the employees of the school system, kids are number one. They're the future of Uxbridge. You gotta take care of your little people now in order for the community to bloom later. 
So um, I want to thank the community and the people have just been wonderful.